This is about deductive reasoning and the deadly picnic. So some background information. The body of Gavin Brooks. Gavin, we're going to sign it here on the forehead. The police found him in an open field five miles out of Centerville on Friday, October 11th at 10.02 p.m. That's when he was found. Gavin was laying on his back on a yellow sheet. It was determined by the medical examiner that the cause of death was a gunshot to the back of Gavin's head. The medical examiner also determined when death happened and that was about 7.45 p.m. There was evidence found at the crime scene. There were paper plates with fried chicken, grapes, potato salad, and chocolate cake. They found an open bottle of red wine. There was also two wine glasses and one of them had red lipstick on the glass. They also found a bouquet of six roses, red roses. More evidence. They found three cigarette butts. They found two sets of footprints. It was on the nearby road. And one was determined to be male and one was female. But only the female's footprints go back to the car in the road. They did find tire tracks from Gavin's car, but his car was not Gavin's car was not there at the scene. And now we're going to what what was the investigation that the police did? They interviewed six women who were all friends with Gavin's. And here are the notes that the police wrote. So Janice she works full time as a makeup artist. Elaine and Gail, both of them are teachers. Peggy and Elaine, those two are roommates. They live in an apartment in Centerville. Gail lives in a different town called Eastville. Rita lives three miles west of Centerville and she lives in a farmhouse. Elaine and Janice, they both wear size four jeans. Peggy, she is very allergic to grapes. Gail goes to a dance class that Janice teaches. That dance class is every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Neither of those women, Gail or Janice, neither have missed a class in three months. Lauren works in a chemical factory. Rita's father owns a shooting range where they practice shooting. Lauren is allergic to flowers. Rita works in a flower shop. Janice and Elaine they have never met each other. Rita, she doesn't like chocolate. Janice and Gail, they both hate the color yellow. Lauren used to play 
professional basketball. She has red hair and is six feet tall. So now you're going to start filling out the information. You're going to write down where the body was found, where Gavin died, how Gavin died, what kind of weapon was used to kill him. Describe the crime scene around Gavin's body. What all was found there? And are there other details that you think are important in solving this crime? For each woman, put down as much information as you have. What they look like, what size they are, what jobs or hobbies they have, where they live, any medical information that might be important, you know, like are they aller allergic to certain things, and uh, maybe some other important information that could, could help. And for each woman, you're going to fill out each of those boxes. Now, you need to write a paragraph about who you believe killed Gavin Brooks and why. Be sure to explain the why. And for five of the women that you believe are innocent, explain why you have decided that they are innocent. Finally, you need to write two paragraphs a story about what you think happened the night of that murder. How did the couple arrive at the murder site? What happened while they were there? What was the motive or the reason for the murder? And how did the murderer escape or leave? Be sure to include descriptions. You can also do a little bit of creating, but not too much. You know, you can add a few details to the 